Hi everyone and welcome to The Week's Nest DIY. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I turn this coat closet off of my kitchen into a functional and budget-friendly pantry. I wanna thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I will be using the Cricut Joy along with some Dollar Tree, Walmart, and other budget-friendly items to create a decorative and functional space in my pantry. So let's get started. So this is a quick overview. I will go into details of my pantry, but I wanted something that looked really high end that did not cost a lot of money and that was easy to do. So I took advantage of the awesome materials that you can pair with the Cricut Joy, such as their smart writable vinyl and labels and really was able to transform my pantry. I used a lot of Dollar Tree items and budget friendly items from Walmart to create this space. So right off my kitchen, I had this coat closet that we just did not need to use as a coat closet. So as you could see, with my kitchen being right here, it made sense to turn this into a pantry. I had my husband add some wood shelves to this and I just wanted to make sure that I was able to make this more functional for our family. So once the wood shelves were in, this is what we we're working with. Definitely not bad, but it definitely could be more organized. So I'm gonna show you how I utilized my Cricut Joy to do so. So I love the Cricut Joy because it's super compact. As you see here, real life, I have this in my kitchen while I'm ignoring this huge pile of dishes and I'm able to quickly make customized labels for anything. But since this is a pantry video, I'll be showing you some different ideas you could do for your pantry. Now what I love is the smart label. It is a writable vinyl, it is permanent, and basically it is way better than a label maker because you can make some really fun, essentially like stickers. So we are gonna use this along with some of the Cricut Joy pens. And I like this because it really speeds up the process and you don't need to weed any vinyl. You just have your design and design space and use the vinyl and the pens. So these are the labels that I'm going to make. I had lost the original footage of me making this, but basically what I ended up doing was going in design space and you can either search food labels or pantry labels. And as you see here, there are a variety of different styles and types to fit whatever your needs are or your decor style. Sometimes to narrow it down, you can use different combinations of words. So instead I went in with pantry labels and I was able to find the labels that I wanted to create for my pantry labels. Really loved these fresh farmhouse ones. They also had all the categories that I needed. So those are the ones I went ahead and used. Now I will show you how I made this into a writable label. So once I select the label that I want, I move it over to the side. And then the label is originally for a cut, but I want this to be written. So I'm gonna take a square and I am going to fit it around our label. First, I'm gonna take the wording and move it to the front, then take the square and make it the size that I want so that this can be the cut of vinyl. Then once I lock that, I press the wording, go up to the top here and press pen, and this will be written instead of cut. Then you wanna attach everything so that it knows to cut the square and then switch it to Cricut Joy. I have a Maker and an Explorer too, so you wanna make sure that this is for the joy. Then I use my phone, which has Bluetooth, and I am ready to go. So I, like I said, am using the writable vinyl, which I absolutely love. I select my machine, press make it, and since this is a smart label, you don't have to use a mat, so I select the without mat option, and I am ready to cut. Sometimes Bluetooth will not connect automatically, so if you easily go to the settings in your phone, add it to connection, you are able to get that connection manually in case you have any issues. So once it connects to the Cricut Joy, you're gonna to want to select the um, material you're using. Again, I'm using the writable vinyl, and it first prompts you to put the black pen into the clamp. So once you do that, it's gonna go ahead and first write the wording for the labels, and then once all the writing is done, it will prompt you to put the blade in so that it can cut out the labels. And as you see here, the Cricut Joy is able to process the vinyl that goes all the way through the back so you can have everything on one strip of vinyl. 
I found these awesome glass canisters at Walmart. They were $6 each and I love the look of them. I love that I can see what I have in them easily along with the label and they have this great airtight seal so everything does not get stale. I have used these in the past. I picked up a few more to do this pantry redo and they are the perfect canvas for these labels. Now I am able to just peel them off of the backing of the vinyl and they apply just like a sticker. And what I like to do when I am adding um, items in my pantry in different containers, and I have a little helper here, as you can see, is I like doing this on the floor. So I first went ahead and added the labels, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the food into them. The reason I like doing this on the floor is oftentimes it kind of gets messy. So if you have it on the floor, it's really easy once your labels and your food are in the jars to just take your vacuum out and vacuum up the mess. And again, I really like that I'm able to use these as stickers. It makes the process so much quicker and you don't have to weed any vinyl if you don't want to. I wanted to add, you can totally make your own labels by typing in the type of food labels that you want, but I was really surprised and happy to see that the design space had a lot of the food that I keep in my pantry anyway in design space, so I did not have to make the labels myself. And here's the mess on the floor, of course, but I'm gonna vacuum that right up. So once everything was added, I was able to add these to my shelf, and I just love how pretty and high-end and organized these look. I also repeated the same process for some of these white Dollar Tree bins and just made larger labels to add for some of our snacks. A new to me Cricut Joy compatible item are these smart labels. They come in this kind of craft paper and I also saw a black paper option. They come in four sheets like this to a pack and these are great. Again, you can pair them with the Cricut pens for an awesome customized label or sticker. So I did these for some canned beans we have as well as some of my kids cereal bars. I repeated the same process that I did for those farm um, farmhouse labels that I just showed you and these were able to cut in minutes. Something that I also really like is that the pens really write very crisp and you don't have any kind of smearing or bleeding. The font is really nice and crisp, which I appreciate. And just like with those first labels I showed you, once the writing part is complete, it will prompt you to load the blade and then it will cut out the sticker labels for you. Cut these labels small because I'm gonna use these Dollar Tree, I think these are fridge organizers. I had a long time ago, I did make a video, I just did like a regular vinyl wording that says bars. I was kind of over it, I wanted something a little bit more sleek and I definitely wanted to try out that um, writable vinyl paper. So the nice thing about vinyl, this is a temporary, not permanent hold vinyl, is that it can be removed really easy. So once it's removed, except for this one stubborn piece, but don't worry, I got it off. I was able to just really easily add these labels and then fill up these Dollar Tree containers. I love for any type of fridge, pantry, or really household organization, my go-to places are always the Dollar Tree and Walmart. I always find what I need. I'm never breaking the budget, which is important to me, and I am able to, which is awesome, pay pair them with my Cricut to get a customized and easy organized look. I love that you can clearly see what I have in these containers. And I also did the same thing for my beans, which I also use the Dollar Tree um, can or soda containers found in the kitchen section. Other Dollar Tree find that I love are these cereal containers. 
So in the Cricut design space, if you type in cereal, they have a nice kind of small circle label. This I thought was perfect to pair with the containers I'm using from the Dollar Tree since they are um, rounded. I don't really have a lot of space for a large label. So I went ahead and added and resized this cereal label. Now I wanted the cereal also to be written. So I went into shapes and I added a circle. This will be my cut. And then I just lay the wording over top again, have this be written. So in the left corner, instead of basic cut, I click pen and then I attach it so that the joy knows to cut this out as a sticker. So these are great. They fit about an average size of cereal. I don't know how they would work for like a family size, but once I added my cereal, I just added my labels super quick and easy. You don't have to use any transfer tape, anything like that. It literally acts like a sticker and takes the place of a label. So again, with my helper, I was able to easily add these to my containers. And I also added it to this Better Homes and Garden container, which you can also find in Walmart and like the food organization and container section. And that was a good price as well. Well, a little fun pantry DIY. I'm using one of these plywood circles that come in a three pack from Hobby Lobby and I'm taking some chalkboard paint. Now in the past when I've used chalkboard paint, I use a regular brush, but I actually have started using a little roller and I highly recommend this. You get a way smoother application and the chalkboard, um, you can just get the paint on better and I definitely recommend using a roller. We're gonna make this into a really easy and small chalkboard menu. I always like having menu boards. I make them often on my channel and it's great for a pantry. So I went ahead in Cricut Design Space, typed in menu and I found this really pretty cursive menu wording. Went ahead, cut it out on the regular vinyl that is the smart vinyl that the Joy comes with. And I like to always use the scraper also on the back of the vinyl when you cut it. I find that it adheres to the um, transfer tape much easily or much more easily. There we go. Um, because the Cricut Joy, the smart vinyl, the backing is a little bit more sturdy than your average backing to vinyl because it is replacing the need for a cutting mat. So once I have that on, I use my scraper and attach it. And then I'm going to add this to my pantry door so I can easily week by week change out our menu. And then when I open the pantry, I know what to look for when it is time to cook. To hang this up, I'm using some of my Arteza double-sided foam mounting tape. I really like this. It basically is kind of like a tape version of a command strip. So I cut two pieces of this and then I went ahead and applied that to the back. Now in Cricut Design Space, I saw this really fun arrow pantry open sign. So I thought that would be really cute to just add a small fun accent on the outside of my pantry. That way, well, it's decorative and we know it's the pantry, but in case we have guests and they don't know where the pantry is, it's a fun way to be like, pantry open here. So I went ahead and cut this out with some black Cricut Joy Smart Vinyl. And then I'm gonna add this directly to my wall. That's also something that I think a lot of people forget when they use a Cricut, is that you can make labels, you can add um, vinyl to decor, but you can also add some fun things to your wall as well. So once I peeled off the backing, I just added it to the wall where I wanted it, smoothed it with my Cricut scraper, and that was it. Now when I peel something like on a textured surface, kind of like my wall is, I like to move the scraper down with the transfer tape just to make sure that everything is adhered and stays in place.
I had room in my pantry and I wanted to add a fun um, kind of hook for my apron. So I took this Dollar Tree wood plaque, I traced it and added some like peel and stick kind of scrapbook paper I picked up from Target a while back. And then I added it on to this wood plaque and then I went ahead with the Cricut Joy, used that same smart label craft paper that we used for our bar and bean labels. And then I saw a fun design that I wanted to layer on top of that. Again, super quick and easy because the label that I used is peel and stick. So again, this is what the smart label looks like. It's writable paper. So I went ahead, made my cut and laid that over top. So I went into Cricut Design Space. I found the design that I like, which is this cooking can be whiskey business. And I went ahead, cut that out. I also cut it onto an oval shape. So it's a little bit smaller than the oval wood piece that I'm working with. Peeled that and stuck it right to the Dollar Tree wood plaque. Then to make this functional, I went ahead and took this hook off of this Dollar Tree piece of wall decor. I just screwed it off, used the nails that it came with, and then it screwed it to the back side of the piece of wood. And then you have a really fun and easy way to hang your aprons. I always store my onions and potatoes in these Dollar Tree buckets. So I used some of the black permanent vinyl and I found this onion cut in the design space. So I went ahead, used the long roll <laughs> and made that cut. Once everything is cut, it is time to weed. So for this particular um, decal, instead of weeding out kind of like the background and leaving in the wording this was what this one was intended to have the background and then you weed out the wording so that whatever color of the surface you put this on that's what shows through so since i'm putting this on a dollar tree white bucket that is what you will see going through this now the wording is a little bit small so this did take me a while and full disclosure i did lose some of the little dots to the words mainly because that was a user error and I was distracted by, again, my little helper, but I was able to get it on. So again, I'm gonna show you a before of my pantry, then a kind of mid before of what these shelves look like. And then I will take you through and show you all of the projects that I just showed you, really easy labels using the Cricut Joy and how I transform my pantry into kind of a disorganized mess into a functional and pretty pantry. I also added some Amazon puck lights that work with a remote, which I will show you and I really love the way that this turned out. I hope this video inspired you to bust out that Cricut and maybe get one if you're debating it and just show you how easy and unintimidating it is to organize and decorate your home with a Cricut. A little tip, I have a really dark pantry, so puck lights like this are perfect, and they really display and kind of make all the labels and everything that we organize look more decorative and put together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.